Alrighty, hosses. In this video, I'm going to show you how to nest conditionals in less. Now, the syntax of this is actually really similar to nested rules. Basically, what we can have is something like this. Say that we're making a website and we wanted to put a banner on the home page. That's what everyone does now. That's what we're doing. Why not follow the trend? Now, whenever you're looking at it on a desktop, we wanted it to be styled one way, but whenever you're looking at it on a mobile phone, we want it to be styled a different way. And this is actually um, one of the main techniques that people use whenever they're making responsive websites. Essentially, you're going to have two different sets of styles, and you're going to add a condition that says, on mobile phones or small screen devices, use this style instead of the default one. So the first thing we need to do is actually just make our basic styling like a welcome banner. And we'll just give it like a font size of 32 pixels and a background of light green. Why not? Now what we can do thanks to less is inside here we can add a condition and we'll just say um, a condition for small screen devices so that's media screen. We're not printing we're actually want to add this for screens and media and I'll just say a max width of seven not you uh, 768 pixels. So any device that is less than 768 pixels, which are typically like phones or tablets or anything like that, then we want to add this styling instead. So font size of, I don't know, maybe smaller and maybe a new background color for whatever reason. But that's how you can add conditionals. Let me add a little comment so it's easier to see. only on small screen devices. So this is your generic and this is when you're looking at it on a small screen and that's what it gets compiled to. Pretty sweet, eh? So now let's actually go ahead and make this. So div ID equals welcome banner and inside here I'll just write welcome to the new Boston. And check it out. So this is what we have. This is our default styling, a font size of 32 and a background of light green or lime green, whatever it was called. Now let me shrink this to simulate a smaller screen device and look what happens. Our style changes to a smaller font, even though now that, now that I think about it, you may want to bump up the font whenever you're looking at it on a small screen device, but uh, you know, didn't really think that through, but that's not what I'm trying to teach in this video. And uh, you know, Usually whenever people are working on making websites responsive, it isn't like changing the background color, it's actually maybe changing the margin or um, you know a bunch of other stuff not related to look but the actual behavior of it. But now you guys know that with nested conditionals, what you can do is you can have a default styling and then you can add a conditional to say whenever this is true, apply this styling instead. So that's what nesting conditionals does. And uh, yeah, less makes it really easy. So there you go.